start with three starbursts of different colors. We're going to unwrap them and stack them up in a tower. So I've got yellow, orange, and red. And I want, we're going to be uh, simulating sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, and igneous rock with these. Now I'm going to have the yellow in the middle because I want to be able to really tell what my layers are. Actually, these are pretty close. I think I'm going to do red in the middle. And so I'm going to have a really uh, differentiated set of colors. Uh, and the first rock we're going to make our um, sedimentary rock. So I have this uh, plastic bag over a piece of foil because uh, that way it does, it's not going to stick. So I'm going to stack my model right here, one on top of the other. And then I'm going to have to hold them and wrap them up And the next thing we're going to have to do is put some pressure on it. So this part I'm not going to show you on the video because uh, it will be rather hard to do. <clears throat> but I'm going to take a book, a thick book, and you can use your uh, textbook. But I'm going to use a thick book. I'm going to place it on top, and then I'm going to stand on it because my hands would not provide enough pressure for this particular uh, model to actually squish. So right now what you're going to do is take this and make sure that you've got uh, you've got it stacked so where you're stepping on the top of your tower you're going to be placing the book on it and then carefully making sure that the model does not rotate you're going to be pressing down. So I just got finished um, pressing this with uh, a book and I used my heel as I stepped on top of the book because I wanted to have a nice even pressure on it. And you notice that my tower of Starburst is now quite flat. And we're going to open this up and observe what we have inside. And what we have inside now is a nice uh, example of how uh, layers of sediment over time compress together and now it's really quite thin but how they compress together to make a sedimentary rock. Now the next type of rock is going to be metamorphic and metamorphic rocks uh, are, are made with not only pressure but also with heat because remember metamorphic rocks uh, are uh, made through heat and pressure as they are they travel down in the earth uh, quite deep and they're nearing uh, the the zone where they might melt into magma but they're not quite there yet um, if I want to look at my um, you can you can feel that your sedimentary rock is actually quite pliable um, so I'm going to wrap this up again and then I'm going to put it on um, the hot plate, and then we'll observe what happens once we open it back up. So I'm back again, and I've had this on the heat uh, for about 60 seconds, and now I'm going to apply pressure. It's quite malleable. And I'm going to open up my rock. And you can see now that 
my rock some of the plastic bag melted but you can see that my rock still has bits of the original rock in it you can still see some of the orange some of the yellow some of the red but it really has changed because some of it's kind of melted together and become kind of pinkish um, and so metamorphic rock, you can sometimes still see bits of it, but it has changed where it's kind of combined together um, and formed. That's actually a chemical change. And so there are still bits of the original, but you can see that there are some of these kind of layer looking things in there. And that's what a metamorphic rock is like. And now I'm going to apply just heat to this. I'm going to take the plastic bag out because it kind of started melting and I'm only going to use the foil this time. And I'm going to apply heat for uh, a minute and a half, and then we'll come back and look and see what our rock looks like. Now I've just applied the heat and I'm going to open up and see what my igneous rock looks like. You can tell it's really quite sticky. And now all of the, um, uh, you can see it's really all kind of melted together. Now this, the, um, the strongest color in here you can see was, were the, was the pink. And so it's all just kind of melted together and um, it's quite hot quite hot and melty and so we would need to wait until um, it's hardened and then we could kind of take it off and uh, see what our igneous rock looks like. But those, that is examples of sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous rock.